This episode of WTBD is brought to you by Toyota. All right, we're here with Vlad, who is the CEO of Yotafo. Now, this is a very interesting device that's really quite one of a kind. Um, this is a phone that's double-sided. It has a phone screen on one side and an e-ink reader on the other side. So tell us the basic rundown of what this phone can do. Well, in addition to obvious scenario where with e-reading, you can place the book on the backside and the reading is much more comfortable, much longer, and you can read outside on the sunlight. And it's easy on your eyes. But in addition to this, we developed a few very unique, uh, unique uh, applications. For example, you can, um, you can put the wallpaper on the back side and you can uh, pick up a certain image you want. It could be a picture of yourself or your family uh, or just a picture. And you can set up the dashboard so you can pick up certain information like uh, exchange rate, latest sport news or the weather forecast on the back side of the phone. Let me show you. Uh, and basically, it becomes a dashboard for you. Also, you can stream any data from RSS feed. It can be Twitter or Facebook or information from spot news and breaking news on the backside. And it's quite cool because as soon as here, it's updated in real time. You don't need to wake up the phone every five minutes to check what is there. By the way, it's just updated. And so it's quite convenient because you keep the phone in front of you, in front of your eyes, and you know what's happening there. So it's convenient for something like you'd have to reference constantly, like a schedule or a boarding pass exactly. or a map or something like that. Basically, you probably have heard there is a very bad habit developed with smartphones called fobbing. When we wake up the phone every five minutes and we ignore people around us and in favor of smartphones. And I think uh, the always on display, uh, which is placed on the second side of the Yota phone, actually solved this problem because now you define what is important for you, constantly track uh, in a virtual space and it's in front of your eyes, you always see it. You don't need to pick up the phone again, wake up the phone and, and it kind of um, ignore people around you. So you can, you can be there in virtual space, but also here in real life with, your, with people around you. So other than e-books, obviously, um, what, what are some other examples of things that you can flip over and read um, as far as applications or anything like that? Well, newspapers. I think it's, uh, we also introduce uh, applications which can help you to bring newspapers on the backside. And it's actually make, again, reading much more comfortable. And you can read much deep, in-depth articles. You can really finish the article. Because right now, with smartphones, we actually read, uh, kind of have a habit to read highlights. And uh, again, because we're afraid that battery will, will, will be dead uh, uh, shortly. So you can read uh, articles in any text, actually. But also, you can, um, uh, this phone is quite unique uh, from, the, from another perspective. Even when they're running out of battery, it's still useful. For example, you have like zero battery. If you place the image, like boarding pass or the map, uh, it's still useful because it's like a paper map or paper boarding pass on the backside. So you can still have a kind of um, opportunity to find location if you're using the map or to go for the security control if you use the boarding pass or just the latest phone number you need to call or the address, anything. So it's quite cool. Yeah. So as far as materials, what is it made out of? Oh, it's uh, two displays, LCD display from Japan display, and uh, electronic paper display from Inc. And it's covered by uh, Gorilla Glass. But it also, uh, the chassis is made out of plastic, which is reinforced by, by glass. All right, so f finally, um, I understand it's available in Russia and Europe currently. Yes. Um, is there, are there any plans to bring it to other markets? Yeah, currently, it's available in Russia. We start sales at the beginning of December last year. And uh, we are going to add 20 countries <coughs> first quarter this year. Um, where we'll be able uh, to ship the product through the online shop. So people will be able to order online shop and we'll ship it to them in the 20 countries. All right. Well, very interesting. Thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you very much. And thanks again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.